Hello everyone, this is Melodic Oak, and holy moly, I can't believe that I'm actually looking at this screen again. It's been a number of years. Uh, I literally played this back in like 2013. Um, and it's oddly silent. There's no music. I don't know if I'll like add music over this video so it's less weird or... But, I mean, everyone that knows what Cube World is probably knows why I'm back here playing this. To everybody that doesn't, basically, they just announced after like six or seven years that the game is finally coming out. And that everyone that had access to the alpha is going to have access um, to the to the, uh, op well, to the closed beta. And so that's why I'm here, and that's what I'm going to be doing. Oh, that was a test. Delete that character. Um, we're going to make a new one. I just wanted to make sure. I, I played for like literally 30 seconds just to make sure that the game was going to run at a decent frame rate and could run alongside my recording software and all that kind of good stuff. So, uh, basically, for a little bit of background, um, well, first of all, I need to say, I don't remember a lot about this game <laughs> in terms of the controls and how to play it and everything like that, so we're going to be uh, relearning it together. Isn't that fun? Um, but basically, Cube World is a voxel game. It has literally zero textures beyond maybe, like, some of the UI. But, like, none of this is textures. Every single cube in this game is just a solid color. That's it. Um, and that's what makes this game kind of, in a lot of ways, so special. Um, and uh, it's it, it was really interesting the time it was announced in as well. Um, like, right around when Minecraft was really gaining popularity and cube games were really taking off, this game wasn't really trying to feed off of the popularity or like the level of interest in Minecraft. It was its own thing. It didn't have building, it didn't have mining. Uh, it really didn't have that much in the way of like controlled terrain destruction at all. It was mostly about exploration and adventuring in kind of a procedurally generated kind of Lord of the Rings style world. It's really cool and it's kind of held on to that. Like apparently the release version is gonna have some like really basic, um, Sorry, I was just checking. I was getting like a slight jitter every once in a while. I don't know what the performance is like in the alpha, but uh, it has actually gotten some updates since I last played, apparently. I mean, like one or two, apparently, very minor ones. Anyway, um, but it's 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 very much stayed its own thing, and I like that. It it hasn't caved to any of the like, many requests when the game was in its development and the developer kind of went silent. Um, people were like, please put in mining, put in building, put in all everything Minecraft has. And, you know, it, it doesn't look like it's going to be doing a lot of that. I think the most it's going to be putting in is the ability to put down a house somewhere and add like pre-built parts. I like that. I like that the developer is sticking to their guns and doing what they want to do. In case you're wondering what we're... Oh, jeez. Okay, you can zoom in all the way. <laughs> it's good to know. Um, in case you're wondering, we're playing a dwarf because dwarves are best. Um, I haven't played any Dwarf Fortress on this channel yet. That will change. Trust me. Ooh, I like the toothless look. That's awesome. Let's go with it. Um, oh, that's face one, isn't it? Yeah, sure. Why not? As for haircut, we got to go with the beardiest of them all. Oh, we lo we're looking like Simon from the Ogscast here. You know what? I'm okay with that. So much that we're going to name ourselves Simon. <laughs> I love it. Um, we're also going to make a brand new seed. That was my test seed. What are we going to call this? You know what? We're calling our character. We're calling it him Simon anyway. Oh, it must be a number. Ah, oh, we can't call it Yogg's cast. Hmm. I don't know. This is going to be the second video uploaded on my, on my channel. Let's just make the seed two. I have no idea if it's going to be okay with one number. We'll find out. Uh, and we'll name the world. Yogtopia. Since I can't call the seed Yogg's cast, we'll just go with that. Oh, you can have a one number seed. Oh, I am super curious to know what this does. Probably nothing super special, but. All right, so here we are in Cube World, and don't worry, the draw distance is going to expand. It's, it's like initially loading and stuff. What? I'm being attacked by a bumblebee! Right off the bat. All right, I have no idea how long you need to charge that in order for it to reach full effectiveness. Also, there's some other controls that I'm not remembering, like dodge and stuff. So we're gonna need to look that up. Okay, I remember the drink potion button. Okay, um, you can press escape. Oh, F1 opens this up. 
Okay, so those are the buttons. F is light if you have it. Uh, e is pick up. Don't know. R is interact. Tab is select quick item. Oh, okay, that's like your your items. Shift is walk or free aim. Control is climb. Space is jump. Um, I thought that there was like a dodge roll button. Oh, M3, there we go. What a weird button to have bound to that. And that uses up MP to dodge. Okay, cool. I'm remembering. X is the character screen. This is where we level up once we gain uh, skill points. We can do all sorts of stuff. We can be a guardian or a berserker. Um, yeah, I, it's all starting to come back to me now. But as you can see, this game has some odd beauty to it without having any textures. Like the falling leaves are just cubes. Look, at it, it's pretty. I like it. It's so creative. Um, and then there's the map here, right? Which is pretty cool, right? There's stuff on the map. There's like towns and, and stuff, places to go. So we can actually kind of move around while we're in the map. So we can look and see where we need to head. There's some angry living radishes over there. We could go kill them. Um, there, this, there's nothing special. Oh, we do have a light. Lantern. Okay. But dude, I am I'm happy to be playing this again. Even if, you know, this isn't the beta build, we're going to be into that. But okay, so allow me to talk about why I wanted to do this. Um, why did I want to play Cube World after all this time, right? Um, well, okay, I'm being attacked by this radish, so um, that's fun. That's one reason I definitely wanted to play again, because radishes. Um, no, but in, in all seriousness, I wanted to play this again because I wanted to experience the differences between this, the alpha, and the the beta when it comes out, right? That's me pressing. Oh, that's weird. Uh, I just, I wanted to see what the differences were going to be. So I was really curious to see, like, how would this game... Gosh, that does, like, no damage. Uh, I was curious to see how the game changed, how it's advanced, you know, what's different, what's new. And also kind of warm up on my uh, my combat skills, because as you can tell, they're pretty rusty. Um, as a matter of fact, I can't remember how this works. It's charged, right? I guess? I'm not actually sure. I guess we'll just have to learn. Also, if I hold down left click, it goes through the combo. That kind of stuns the uppercut, I think. If it does like no damage, does it? That's really that's really odd. I remember that doing damage. I'll have to figure that out. We just got a bow. That's cool. <clears throat> but yeah, there's like crafting uh, recipes and such. Um, there's places to go and explore. There's dungeons. There's like caves you can go into. <clears throat> there's a whole skill system. Uh, you eventually will get items like a hang glider that allows you to travel around. There's there's bombs you can use to sort of deconstruct the terrain and go delving. It's a surprisingly awesome game. Um, so and like even for like an uncompleted alpha, and that's why I think people fell in love with it so much was because um, it was uh, it was just totally unexpected. It came out of nowhere, and oh hey look at that! It came out of nowhere for one thing and for another thing um just even for being totally unfinished it was still entertaining which is so rare you know um there's a terrier here i'm not gonna attack you i think there's a way to tame even in the alpha but i can't remember how um but but basically the beta and then the full release which is we don't know when it's going to come out sometime Either September or October. I'm guessing late October. Um, personally, <laughs> not not there's a problem with that. I want it to be good, um, but yeah, I'm am curious to see like what it brings, what it's changed, what's new. Like if there if there's a new feature set. Like I know that there's a bunch of new features that have been announced on the site, uh, Picroma, uh, for quite some time. Like he. Uh, every couple of years, he's like tweeted and put out some videos and stuff like that. It hasn't been like. It hasn't been crazy, the, the number of updates that he's released. Like, he, there's not a lot of information. Uh, and that's, you know, that is what it is. Okay, that uses up MP. That's how that works. Now I know. Um, there hasn't been a ton of information. Uh, just occasional uh, tidbits of, like, stuff that's been added. 
um, you know, things he's been working on, etc. So um, a lot of the, a lot of the, right, okay, a lot of the features, oh geez, you're strong. A lot of the features in the game, um, we're not actually sure what they're going to be yet. And I think that's really interesting. You're very strong. Can we get away from you? I don't actually know. Oh, there's some NPCs over there. They might be able to help us. Maybe. Are you willing to help? Are you able to help? Hello? Help me. Help me. No! What are you doing? <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, they're on my tail now. <laughs> this is kind of ridiculous, isn't it? Sorry about going silent there, just uh, trying to survive. I don't actually remember what happens when you die. You go somewhere. Um, yeah, I don't think I can take both of them on. But yeah, uh, it looks like a really interesting... I'm actually not actually sure how to get away from enemies. I thought that they would de-aggro off of you after a while, but maybe not. Um, we're going into a town now. We're going to see if going into a town has any effect on uh, enemy aggro. Maybe if uh, NPCs will help you. Oh, he stopped on the outside of town. Oh, okay, yes, they are helping me. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Thank you. I I'm glad that going into a town actually does, like, have an effect like that. That's awesome. I'm saving money to buy a boat. Yeah, because boats are a thing in this game. Boats, hang gliders, all sorts of really cool stuff. Oh, man, I'm so excited to be playing this again. I can't explain. It's like a weird level of nostalgia that I can't even explain. And then I'm excited also because of um, because of what's to come, like because I, I don't know exactly what's to come. Again, again, some stuff has been revealed, right? Like, um, oh, we can sleep to heal. Nice. Some stuff has been revealed. Some new systems and uh, biomes and game features and there's new skills and the classes work differently and yada 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 yada. yada. There's a bunch of really cool stuff coming. And that's about the extent of what I know. I've been specifically kind of trying not to read too much. One, because I don't want to overhype myself, which is kind of, I'm kind of already past there, unfortunately. Um, but here, there, there's something different about it, though, this kind of hype. Oh, yeah, dwarves, by the way, are the only race that can go through windows. I love that. Um, which makes them surprisingly good rogues. Uh, what I was going to say, though, is... Um, the cool thing is, though, I'm able to go back to the alpha, this, and play this, and enjoy this. So literally, if the beta adds barely anything, I'll still technically enjoy it. And that's a great feeling. It's a great feeling to be looking forward to something, but still, still know that, like, even if it's really not as great as everyone's hoping, it's still, it's still gonna be good. Mammoths are really strong. That's probably a shout out to the fact that the guy that made the game is, uh, he's called Wale. Kind of woolly mammoth, Wale mammoth, yeah. It's kind of a thing, I guess. Cinnamon rolls to, to tame, uh, tame tortoises, apparently. That's interesting. Alright, so we don't really have a lot of anything. Um, I don't remember exactly how shopping works. Let's find out. Uh, equipment. By the way, oh wait, maybe I can, nah, you can't change the UI size. Uh, in the beta, so in the closed beta, which I might show off like at the end of this video, just so you can see what I'm talking about. That the in the closed beta, it's literally just a menu screen. It's like it's actually available on Steam, um, like right now, and um, you if you log into it, it's uh, it, you first of all you have to have access to the alpha in order to access it, um, but. Sorry, just very confused here. Is this my Okay, vendor. Here we go. Uh, it's very hard to read it as well because it's very small. I apologize to everyone. But what I was saying is, anyway, the beta is just a menu. But it's already, you know, people have already been able to figure out some stuff from it. And one of the things is you can use the F key is to change your UI size, which seems really, really helpful, right? Because, well, first of all, oh, okay, we just walk away. I was like, how do I get out of this? Uh, okay, this is the crafting screen. That's my inventory. That's the map. Let's actually see if there is a setting. No. 
darn. Yeah, I'm not sure. So I can't really change the UI size, which is unfortunate. Uh, but yeah, in in the beta, I will be able to. So please bear with me until Monday, where I will definitely be making some videos of me playing this. I might even be streaming it. I'm not sure. Um, it would definitely be fun. Reg. I don't know what reg means. I know what everything else here means. So we have some weapons. Um, would it not be a good idea to maybe see if we could equip some? We, so for example, we have chest armor. We're not wearing anything on our chest, so let's go ahead and put that on. But yeah, so the game has like Diablo style equipment as well. So there's like there's a whole bunch of replayability factor. Apparently, like enemies will scale like the further out from a certain point you go in the beta it's going to work really differently in that there's going to be these massive areas so i guess it's sort of you can sort of see the beginnings of it in the alpha see this area there's going to be predefined areas they're massive like this huge to be explored with quests and dungeons and bosses and all sorts of stuff all procedurally generated right with different biomes and stuff and basically how it's going to work is you're gonna activate certain things like I guess like shrines and you're gonna kill certain bosses and do certain quests sorry coffee and in the process you're going to get stronger in general right but mostly you're gonna be gaining strength in that area and so then when you finally venture out of that area um, everything is gonna be it's gonna be you know stronger or not stronger, but um, you're not going to be as strong in another area as you were in that area. And that's going to make it so the game has pretty much literal, literal, literally com like infinite replayability. But I guess, from, again, this is all from what I understand. Um, I, you're, apparently you're going to keep some of your strength in between areas. I don't know, I'm, that's what I've personally gathered. But I'm not positive, so don't take my word for it. In fact, don't believe anything I say. Don't believe the lies that I tell you. <laughs> Alright, we're going to sell all this. We're up to one silver. Yay! Uh, we really need to buy... Oh, okay, so we can buy... Wooden boat and hang glider. We don't have enough money yet, though. We need some glass flasks. Where are those going? Oh, and the crafting ingredients. We're going to buy, like, ten of those. Uh, I don't know what chocolate... Do chocolate donuts. a pet food. Uh, we'll buy one, but I don't know what pet it works on, so we'll have to see. Oh, we, well, right, okay, so you can buy formula here as well, which is how you craft stuff. See? Power, and then there's power levels. Oh, man, I remember all of this. This is fucking awesome. Oh, sorry, pardon my language. Um, I haven't really decided if this is going to be, like, a channel where I just sort of, I'm not quite sure, just sort of going to be myself and see what happens. Formula, battle-tested iron boots, plus one. It's got a green star. Yeah, it uses, like, a different star system in this. So it's, like, it's like white, green, and blue stars, and like or something like that. But in the new game, there's going to be, like, a full five-star uh, gear system. Where, where levels and stars are separate. Like, I, I'm not, enti again, not entirely certain how it's going to work. Really, really, really excited to find out, though. <laughs> Um, requires anvil, requires campfire, right, okay, this is all coming back to me. All right, so the, like, the three different crafting areas, I remember this now, is standing in water, standing near an anvil, and standing near a campfire. And those are like the three different kinds of things you're going to use to craft stuff. So let's see if we can find a campfire, ooh, camera, see if we can find like a campfire. Oh wait, a magnifying glass. Is this where you ID equipment? Is that a thing? I can't even remember. <laughs> Nothing special. Oh, it is. Okay, so like, there's like IDing like rare equipment, like in Diablo. Ah, oh, I, damn! I, I forgot how much I love this. I don't know why. Oh, I do know why. It's 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 awesome, but it's just interesting how how that all works. Um. Okay, collies don't like don't like the donuts. That's fine. Anyone else like the donuts? Sheep like do sheep like donuts? I can't remember what animals like what. I know that it's like really like it's supposed to be funny, like it doesn't make any sense. Cats? Cats do not like donuts. That's okay. Um, how do we put it away? Do we Okay, we just do that. 
Yeah, okay. Um, so where do we want to go? What do we want to do? I haven't really decided what I want to do in this video other than just play Cube World. So why don't we just do that? Why don't we just play Cube World? See what happens. Let's head, um, let's head southwest to the river over there and see if we can craft some potions using the water. I think that's what we can do. There's a person here with amazing facial hair. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you very much. How are you today? I haven't quite gotten caffeinated enough yet, but other than that, I'm doing pretty damn good. Can you sit? I can't remember. You can! That makes me happy. Yeah, um, so, so yeah, Cube World. I'm trying to think of like what else to, what else really to talk about regarding it. Like, I'm just excited. Oh, by the way, you can do this. You can climb. <laughs> it just came to me there for a second. Um, but yeah, so that allows you to uh, to climb up like mountains and stuff. But you have to, it's it's not like, you can't just walk up to it and just hold down control and just go, you know, from the bottom to the top. Oh, right, there are pineapples. Oh my gosh. That makes me happy. I remember this now. Um, so it, you can't just literally scale any mountain. Scaling mountains is actually like difficult because you have to like eye it up and be like, Okay, I only have so much stamina to make it this high, so I need to, like, find a point that I can climb up to and then wait for my stamina to recharge. I'm, like, it's, 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 it's surprisingly well designed as a game. And I, I don't mean that, like, as an insult to Wally, it's not what I'm saying. I mean, like, it's surprisingly well designed in that this is an alpha, remember. This is from, this is, this is essentially a game from, like, six or seven years ago that was made over a very short period of time. Which is one of the things that makes me so excited about seeing, like, what's changed, and what's new, and, like, oh, <gasps> campfire, yes! We randomly found one, if we stand on it, do we take damage? I don't think so, no. But yeah, so we can, we can cook stuff now, we can make pineapple slices, make ginseng soup, uh, we're gonna make a bunch of pineapple slices, can we just hold this button down? Yes. Okay, so we can just sit here and hold down left click <laughs> and craft pineapple slices. So apparently, uh, if I remember correctly, as you can see it says pineapple slice plus one. I'm fairly certain that you can find like uh, recipes that will improve the stuff that you're already making and add like an additional modifier to them so they'll heal more. Um, but, the, but the food system in this works very similarly to like World of Warcraft. Um, at least the way it used to, I don't know if it works this way anymore, but basically how you had potions, you had food, and potions were used like mid-combat for like quick healing, you know? And then uh, food was used sort of for your downtime, right? In between fights and such, and you're like, okay, I'm gonna sit down, have a snack. Games need that more. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go out there on a limb and say it. Games? What is that? Oh, are you guys friends? Yeah, how you doing? You are strange looking. Thank you, you too. We have weapons? We should visit the weapon shop. I love traveling from city to city. You look like an adventurer. I am. Um, so the cool thing is that wandering NPCs and stuff like this are gonna be in the beta, and based on the video that I saw, you're gonna be able to get actual like tips and hints from them, like about procedurally generated stuff. Right, okay, we need water. Um, so, okay, we're gonna head directly south once we have water. Cool. So you'll be able to, um, like, go to them and, like, literally pick up, like, these procedurally generated quests from them, or get a, get a tip that, like, a, a powerful item is somewhere, and then you'll be able to literally follow these tips, um, which is, which is really cool. Um, here we go. Which is really quite neat. Um, I like that. It's very like dwarf fortressy. If you don't know what dwarf fortress is, good lord, that's a rabbit hole. Um, it's an amazing one though. Wait, can I just craft these from here? Yes, I can. Okay. Um, but basically, it's procedurally ge procedural generation taken to just the next level of insanity. Um, so wait, when I go like this, okay, W and A change. Cool. Oh, and that's currently on my queue. I see. And then I press it to eat it. Okay. Sorry. 
I kind of wasted that, but I had plenty of it, so. Raccoon, you're overleveled for us, but we might be able to beat you. Huge waste of resources, maybe? I have no idea. Goodness me. The, the red name really should have just been a dead giveaway. Oh, they're helping me. Oh, thank you. Thank you, goblin friends. I don't think there's any friendly fire, so I think I can just wail on this raccoon. Dude. Dude. Thank you. You're awesome. But yeah, okay, so it's stuff like that that I love about games, right? Just unexpected stuff like that is what I live for in games. I love games where unexpected stuff happens, especially if it's so unexpected that even the dev doesn't expect it. Like that, that's my favorite kind of kind of game design right there. Just absolutely hands down. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so we're going to head like south by southwest here. Oh, hey, it keeps your map zoom level. That's cool. Neato. So yeah, we're going to head south by southwest and go to those uh, cross swords and inevitably die. Because if I remember correctly, that's a stronghold. Oh. Enemy goblin. Not all goblins are, uh, are uh, kind, apparently. But yeah, so like using, using your basic attack charges up like your big secondary. So it's kind of like there's some resource management there. Um, I suppose. Which is cool. Um, and there's also there's different classes. So as you saw when I when I was making my character, there's way more than just like your basic warrior. There's ranger. There's like a a, a thief kind of a character. There's a mages. Um, it's really quite cool. I think we're getting into the evening here. Um, which is not good because if you've I remember nighttime in this game. Oh, there's an undead fighting something. Are you a friend? Can I help you? Yes, you are a friend. You're blue. Uh-oh. Oh my gosh, this squirrel is strong. <laughs> Words I never thought I'd say. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm not really sure how to de-aggro enemies. This is gonna be interesting, because I, th I thought that if you ran for long enough, enemies would would sort of lose in okay they do okay good 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 i was right yay peacock orange name uh but you're not an enemy can i do you like chocolate donuts do you want do you want chocolate donut do you want do you want do you want chocolate do you want chocolate do you want chocolate donut you want a chocolate donut how dare you refuse my chocolate donut offering i'm a terrible person but XP is XP, yo. <laughs> Hopefully you can see why I like this game so much. <laughs> because it's ridiculous and amazing and also extremely nostalgic. And I realize... Also, I don't know, not everyone's thing, which is totally fine. And not really what I think the majority of what I, I'm going to play on this channel is going to be like. Like, I'm, I'm definitely like a strategy, roguelike, I don't know, thinking person's game sort of a sort of a player. But I like me a good, like, sort of exploration, RPG-like experience like this. So, oh, there's another dwarf over there. It's a dual-wielding dwarf. Nice. So, yeah, there's like dual-wielding, there's shields, there's bows, there's, there's, oh, there's staves, there's spells. Uh, use the spells if you're playing the, the mage class, of course, but... It's cool. There's a lot of potential in this. There really is. Uh, yeah, we're, we're getting to nighttime, which really concerns me. Hello? Arak, Bart, how are you? Ooh, look at the blue color here. Oh, this is pretty. Look at this. Very cool. Very, very cool. But yeah, we haven't gotten to any, um, any other biomes yet there are like i'm surprised um but i guess maybe um i guess maybe the biomes are bigger than i remembered um but yeah there's a bunch of different biomes in this so hopefully we'll uh we'll come across some of the other ones and you can see 
I'm talking about a bunch of heart plants, which we need for more potions. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab those. But the uh, the terrain generation system can also be pretty cool. Like it can generate some pretty sick mountains. <laughs> Listen to that water sound. Ah, uh, I remember jumping is like the most efficient way to move through water. I do remember that. There's a, a packa. Maybe you like chocolate donuts. Do you like chocolate donuts? Do you like do you like chocolate donuts? No, is that not your thing? Okay. Well, to each their own. Um. Hmm. A campfire. If we sit, do we heal? No. Okay. It's worth trying. Um. Make some more life potions here. We technically don't need to be by a fire to do this, but eh, we're here. Make some more ginseng soup. I think ginseng soup gives you some sort of a buff, but I can't remember. So, oh yeah, so um, that this kind of dark space reminded me that uh, darkness in this game is, oh my gosh, is it dark? I mean, you can tell even just under the trees in the shadows. Nighttime, it's like impossible to navigate. You you have this lantern, so you can toggle on and off, right? Which is nice. Um, you can even have it out while you're fighting. Hey, that's wonderful, right? Your d default lantern is terrible, if memory serves. Um, you almost certainly have to either find a legendary lantern to, like, hold you over, or, like, level up and get a crafting recipe of one that can actually, like, sustain you <laughs> at nighttime. Also, something else kind of cool. I thought I might mention. Also, it's not nighttime. I thought it was getting close to evening, but if you look at the time up there in the top right, it's actually only 1.48. Military time, so, you know, 13.48. Um, but the temperature is 12 degrees Celsius and 61% humidity. I love that the game has that. There's something nice about that. Oh, look! Anion Canyon. Oh, I love that. It's not even... <gasps> okay! Oh, they're not friends. Oh, I was hoping they were friends. They're bandits. That's not good. Oh, they're very strong. Oh, they're very strong. They have pluses next to their name. Oh dear. Oh dear. We might die here. <laughs> Help! Okay, but I I'm gonna be honest. I like that. I like that you can just come across a group of really powerful bandits and then lose them in the mountains. That, to me, that right there is exciting. That is gameplay. Those are angry pigs. Um. <laughs> I love this. I love this kind of experience in games. This is- Oh my gosh! Okay, we're also being attacked by angry mages! And somebody else! <laughs> These mountains are death! <laughs> These mountains are death! And man <laughs> Okay! Mountain passes are a no-go. From here on out, we are no longer using mountains to travel. Oh my gosh, isn't that like a classic, like, cliche or something? Mountain passes are, okay, there's someone with a campsite. I don't know if they're good or bad. I'm gonna risk it. Hi, are you good? Nope, you're not good. Okay. What are you, are you? Dwarf plus three. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so, um, it's kind of like a cliche, isn't it? Like, mountain bandits? Maybe they're all part of the same, like, uh, you know, bandit group? I'm just flavoring it at this point, but I, I like doing that. What can I say? Anyway, we kind of missed a cool opportunity to uh, point out a really neat, um, I don't think it's probably a friend over there. Okay, she gave up. Uh, point out a really neat biome back there. Oh, you killed the dwarf. How dare you? But um, it was kind of like this, uh, there were all these like egg-shaped rocks. And I remember you can blow up those rocks with bombs and find cool stuff inside, which is neat. All right, I want to pull one of you. One of you at a time. So yeah, as a warrior, unfortunately, there's a lot of tanking that goes on. Although I guess that's kind of like classic, isn't it? Kind of like classic uh, fantasy trope. The uh, fantasy game trope, anyway. The warrior pulls the aggro. And I'm not even like the, uh, the big shield wielder. So I'm going to try Ginseng Soup here. All right, it just heals a bit more. I thought it gave a buff, like a movement buff or an attack buff or something. I guess maybe I'm just flat out mistaken. Remember, it has been a long while for me. Also, we're really close to leveling up. 
I think in order to spend your skill points when you level up, you have to uh, go into town and find the guild. And that's also how you change your, like, specialization. Because your every class has, like, two specializations. Uh, for the warrior, it's the berserker and, like, the... I can't remember what it's called, but basically the uh, shield-wielding, you know, sort of tank. Knighty type. Um, and I'm going to be honest, I'm, uh, I'm way more of a berserker myself. I like... I like my Berserkers. If there's ever a Berserker class in a game, I almost always pick it. Like the, uh, like, Dragon Age. Like, the first Dragon Age game, there was a Berserker, and I was like, heck yes, Berserker, two weapons, or one big one usually is what I go with. Like, if there's, like, a great... If there's a Warhammer, oh, absolutely, immediately, my first pick. Hmm. What's that sound? It's a Water Mage. Doing something. Are you guys friendly? Nope! Spike monsters, or spike creatures. So they're like an NPC enemy that like has player race- or player classes, which is really inter- Oh my gosh, you're dodgy. These- oh my gosh. We need to be careful. You're almost down. You are down. Alright, let's take out you first. Should probably get the mage first. But are we eating through a lot of potions here, but that's what they're for. Okay, good. Stun you. There we go. Yeah, so stun isn't really something I have a lot of control over, by the way. Oh yeah, that's right. The water mage can heal. We do need to take out the water mage first. Um so uh the stun isn't really something I have a lot of control over, by the way, if you're wondering. It's kind of that uppercut, see? That's just part of the combo that has, like, a chance to stun. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. So as you can see, a certain level of it, a certain amount of it, is, like, just tanking and resource management. But, um, not, not as much against, like, enemies that are the same size as me. But, um, what you're, you're gonna, you're gonna see when I fight, like, bigger enemies, because there are bigger enemies. <laughs> um, like, mountain giants and stuff um is that the basically um there's 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 a lot more skill to fighting the bigger enemies in this oh we can pick, make pumpkin muffins if we have um if we have pumpkins we must have gotten that recipe from leveling up i'm guessing i have no idea wait wood cube Okay, we can craft cubes. I don't know what that's used for. Maybe there was stuff added in this update and I'm just like totally unaware of it. I guess maybe there was. Not this update, but whenever the last update was. Oh, you have to right click on that to learn the formula. Okay, we know now. Worn gold bracelet. We have to be a mage to wear that. Okay. So we did level up. So we can press X here. Oh, we can assign the points. Okay, here we go. So yeah, we're berserker. Um, we can smash. You jump to the selected spot and smash nearby enemies. Cooldown is 19 seconds. Pets become stronger, climbing more effective, swimming more effective. So I know this is going to be a lot deeper in the beta based on what's been said. Like right now it's just like one tree of attacks. But I remember specifically they said, or while I said, that there was going to be like at least a little more in depth. Uh, but for now, we're just going to learn two levels of smash. Sure. So we're going to learn, so smash. Whoosh, boom. Nice. Cool. All right. Yeah, and obviously the combat also gets a little deeper once you have some skills to throw around and manage those cooldowns and stuff. So, yeah. For anybody worried that the game didn't look deep enough just from the combat, whoop, yeah, if you can zoom in enough, you can basically go first person. <laughs> Which is always good. Oh, except now it's being a little bit glitchy because I'm zooming out and nothing's happening. Sorry, zooming is being really glitchy. Um, <clears throat> oh, look at that. Look at the way this is generated. Oh, I love it. I love it. What are you? You look interesting. A duck bill. <gasps> Do you like chocolate donuts? Nope. You're too cute to kill. I'm not, I can't. I can't bring myself to do it. Not even for the experience points. There is cows. Do you like chocolate donuts? 
No. I don't know if you can drown in this. I don't think you can. Uh, you definitely can in the beta. He sh uh, Wally showed that off. <laughs> but um, in the alpha, I don't think there's drowning. There we go. That's interesting. I was disappointed though to see that um, even though uh, Wally was playing an undead in the that latest video where he was showing off features, he still could drown. I was like, undead shouldn't be able to drown. Come on. They're undead. They don't need to breathe. Lands of Asmore. Man, I am in my happy place right now. This is this is fantastic. You know how people were feeling with uh, like the WoW Classic being released and everything? Like, that's how I feel playing this. I love it. Hello, adorable sheep. I apologize. I'm a monster. Duckbill is cuter, anyway. <laughs> I really want to find the animal... Is it pig? I hear someone fighting. Nope, it's not pig, either. I really want to find out what animal it is that eats chocolate donuts. Well, so that does way less damage than I feel like it should. That charge? Even with a lot of mana? It's weird. Oh, there's somebody with a boomerang. Are you friend or foe? Oh, you are foe. Oh, Which is sad, because it's an adorable goblin girl. Bop! I forget, can you play goblins? I didn't actually check in the race screen. I'm almost positive you can. I'm probably just being dumb. Oh, you look at that. That was just talking about bigger enemies, right? There's one right there. We can probably take him on, actually. Even though it's a red name. If I remember correctly, and I reserve the right to be wrong, we can do it. Oh my gosh, I'm wrong. Maybe, possibly. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, okay, maybe we can. The problem is our attacks are gonna be about the same speed as his. Okay, yeah, we're dead. Okay, we'll revive at these shrines. I think you revive at the closest one to you when you die. And I'm not quite sure what you lose when you die. I don't think you lose anything. No, I don't think you lose anything. Except for time. Of course. Oh, squirrel. That does a decent amount of damage. Unlike that. It's still very strange to me. I seem to remember that doing more damage. More combat. I see which. I don't see where this combat is happening. Oh, there it is. Friends! I would love to have a duckbill pet. Oh, me too, man. Me too. Preaching to the choir. Preaching to the choir. Yeah, I'm looking forward to. Um, I'm looking forward to, like, wandering NPCs. Oh, we're not that far off from where we were going. I'm looking forward to, like, wandering NPCs, having more to say, and having, um, rare items to point you towards and locations, and, oh, man, I'm so excited. There's only one thing that kind of throws me off. Um, so, by the way, Cube World has... Uh, complete multiplayer even in the alpha back back here if you if you have this if you have the alpha which is not for sale anymore it hasn't been for a long time um, but once the beta comes out so don't worry uh, it is fully multiplayer and it works well like the game is supported net, uh, net code just from the from the start which is awesome because uh, obviously Wale foresaw that uh, people were gonna want to uh, play this together with friends because I mean Come on, <laughs> look at how awesome this game is, right? You want to share this with friends um, and explore the world together. Um, so I included that right from the start, which is fantastic. Um, we need more glass bottles. Um, and uh, so that's great. Um, and you could explore this unique world together and everything. That's awesome. One of the changes 
in the beta. I'm not quite sure what to think about this yet. Obviously, this might not be an issue. I might just be like worrying about nothing, but it's just a thought. I'm just musing here. Is that it's gonna? There's gonna be one world. It's gonna be nearly infinite, mind you, like Minecraft style, right? From what we've been told, like literally so massive that you could spend your whole life searching and like explore like 1% of it, right? At least that's what, from my understanding, based on what's been said, oh, we completely skipped over it. Based on what's been said about it, that's my understanding about how that's gonna work. But what that means is you can't generate worlds with seeds anymore. Your world's techni technically not gonna be unique. I don't know. There's some cool thi Oh my gosh, you're strong. There's some cool things to that. Like, that's neat. I, I get it. There's also some level of disappointment. I'm But I'm not sure yet. Like, and, um, they say that everyone's gonna start out somewhere different. So it's it's gonna be, it's essentially gonna be like everyone has their own world. At the end of the day, like that's that's essentially how it's gonna work. But I'm curious to see how all well that works out how random and how far apart people's starting positions can be, how truly infinite it is, well not, not truly infinite, but like truly near infinite, what have you. I don't know. I have some concerns, but I obviously understand that I, I haven't played it yet, I have no idea. I just, I want to be able to play like 10 different characters and all of them have basically a completely different experience and not be like, oh I've been here before, I've seen this. Um. Which, so far, unfortunately, I, I'm realizing now in the alpha, a lot of the biomes I'm thinking of, I think were probably ones that he tweeted out that aren't actually in the game. But that being said... Okay, these are enemies. I think we can take them, though. Yeah. Uh, that being said, I know that um, there are other biomes that we haven't seen yet that are in this build. We just have been sort of unlucky. But I just don't know how many, so... Oh, look, there's that stronghold. These are tough. There's like strongholds and dungeons, and they're not easy. And so we're, we're, we're in for a fight here if we decide we only have one health potion. Oh, this is probably a terrible idea. Oh, would you look at that? Defeat, oh, yeah, defeat the ruler in the ruins of Enria. Can we pull like one of you? please. Okay, we can pull you and then fight you in cover here. Here we go. Okay, there. Fortunately, you're not a water mage. Uh, fire mage, which means they're going to be dealing a lot more damage than a water mage, but they're not going to be healing their friend. And that is a big deal. So, okay, we managed to pull them, kill them. There's still a couple of undead in there, I can see. A mage and a ranger, it looks like. And whatever that, that's a werewolf, I think. We really do not want to have to fight all of those enemies at once. Uh, but I'm not a ranger, so or a mage, so I can't really just hit a couple and pull them out here. So I kind of have to really take a risk here, skirt the edges. And that is a water mage, so we're going to try to... Ah, damn it. I just realized... Oh. One upside to that attack as well is that... Ow! Okay, this could be really tough. One of them can heal and one of them can stun. We can stun, but not um, predictably. Oh, I guess that can stun, actually. Oh, you're healing. Haha, <laughs> yeah, right. Take this. Boom! Oh, that felt good. Oh, man, combat can be really satisfying in this. Combat can be very satisfying in this. Okay. We used our only health potions, so... Hmm. Oh, this is so dangerous. Oh my gosh, three enemies. Oh, that missed. No! I did not want to pull you! I really didn't. Okay, maybe we can do this. Maybe we can do this! Okay, we can do this. Come on. Come 
come on, come on, come on. Okay. Okay, come on. Okay. Oh, we did. Oh, that was the ruler. Okay. No, 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 no. Come on. Oh, that was so. Oh, we died. <laughs> uh, please tell me. Okay, good. Still on the map. Oh, that was crazy. We did it, though. We, I mean, we bought it, but we did it. Uh, I'm not quite sure what happens when we do that. I thought I, I thought there was some sort of a game mechanic to beating the um, ruler of, like, a keep or something. I know that there is, like, new... Hold on, what's this? Power 5? Oh, yes, that is slightly better. And a silver amulet Impro improves my tempo and my crit chance. Nice. Defeat the ruler of the ruins of Andrea. I thought we did. Or maybe, oh, I think we just went outside of range and then came back within it. Yeah, I don't think we've actually beaten any ruler yet. Yeah, I think we still have a ruler to beat here. Which is what it is. Uh, that's okay. Man, I really wish we had more health potions. We really should have bought a lot more glass bottles. I forgot how quickly... I forgot how quickly those go. Oh, and by the way, yeah, there's breakable vases. Look, look at this. Look at this light. <laughs> look at how puny that is. Oh my gosh. We are not ready for this. It's just me realizing how not ready for this we are. Um, I think... Like, Power level wise, we can do it. We just need more uh, more potions. Unfortunately, that's like the only city close to us is Asmore City. So I think we just have to go back. Which really stinks. Sort of. I mean, there's all sorts of stuff we're going to encounter on the way back because we're technically taking a different path back. We can collect a lot of resources and fight some stuff on the way. But we're definitely not going to make the same mistake again. We're definitely going to craft a lot more potions. And we're also definitely not going to cut through this anymore. I just now realized, by the way, I don't know if this means anything, but you notice how the name of that canyon is red, and you know how many bandits we met on the way through there? I don't think that that's coincidence. I do, I, I'm starting to think that maybe that's not coincidence. Just a thought. Just a thought. Food for thought. Food for thought. Yeah, once we have a hang glider, uh, which costs 10 silver, we'll be able to travel a lot quicker. Because you can just go up to the top of a hill and just whip that baby out, and off you go. Off you go. There's some peoples. Let's see if they're good or bad. If they're bad, experience points. If they're good, friends. It looks like they're friends. Lizardmen! Awesome. I love camping. Good for you. See ya. I like how that one stopped to say goodbye. It's like, oh, goodbye. I am gonna grab, like, as many heart flowers as I can on the way back. Because... I don't remember what those little toadstools do. Uh, you can use them for something. Oh! There's a lemon beetle. I remember these. I love the names of some of the enemies. Lemon beetle. It's so, like, JRPG-ish. I love it. Leftovers. Ooh. Food. Do not kill orc friend! Good, thank goodness. What? Oh, we're already carrying it. Are you an adventurer? Indeed I am, good sir. Or madam. Oh, we got a bomb as well. Bomb plus one. Like how we're both... Oh, you, the sound was kind of like doubled up there because uh, they were healing as well. But yeah, so we, we got some items. Uh, we picked some up. Oh, we can't wear this for a rogue. For a rouge. Hmm. Zero platinum coin. <gasps> That's what that is! So platinum coins, if I remember correctly. Platinum coins. Oh, I really wanted a crow. Uh, are what you get for beating, um, the, like, the leaders of a keep. Maybe. <laughs> like I said, I can't remember. This is, this is educated guesses, really. It's not even that. It's really just guesses. Duck bill. Amazing. 
I guess I could look it up online and see what that what, what the chocolate donut tames, but I kind of want to find out on my own, you know? Oh, it is getting close to evening now. Getting back to town will be a good thing then. Ba -ba 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 -ba, it's a horse. Hello, horse. Um, do you like chocolate donuts? No. Bad horse. Like chocolate donuts. It's not good for you and I don't care. Boom. Bad horse. Sorry, horse. I actually like horses. But I'm not above killing them for leather in many, many games. <laughs> okay. On away again. Um, yeah, if, I don't know. If this trip back ends up being really long and boring, I might cut it. I'm not a big fan of the idea of cutting stuff in my videos. I think videos, I think it should be interesting on its own. Just like, well, I mean, obviously, I should edit it to, uh, to be as entertaining as possible. But I feel like if it isn't entertaining just in and of itself, I'm doing something wrong. I don't know, which I could be totally wrong about. Maybe that's not, not a really good, uh, way of thinking about it, but I don't know. Uh, tell me what you think. Also, I'm going to use a bomb to blow one of these egg rocks open. Just because I'm I'm too curious. I want to know what's inside. So we're going to do this. Boom. Nothing. Okay. I think there can be stuff inside, though. Like, I seem to remember that being a thing. Could be totally wrong. Could be completely and totally wrong. Oh, look at how pretty this all is. Look at the clouds and look at the view. Look at that view with the light and everything. That's amazing. This game is so good at being beautiful. Even though it's just a bunch of cubes. It just really goes to show that aesthetic... A game's aesthetic, right? When people say, oh, that game's graphics are beautiful. What people usually mean is that game's aesthetics are beautiful. Graphics really don't mean a whole lot. A game can have beautiful graphics and zero aesthetic. Right? Oh my gosh, you're powerful. Yeah, we're gonna run. Um, like, you know, a game can look photorealistic, but if it's just all brown and gray and there's just nothing to it, then there's nothing to it, right? Aesthetically, it has nothing going on, and therefore visually, it is uninteresting. I'm just saying. And I feel like that's really important for people to keep in mind. Anyone who wants to make a game definitely needs to keep that in mind. It's so important for a game to have, like, vi to visually have a purpose, right? Go out there, make a statement, make your game visually unique and interesting. Give people a reason to want to look at your game. <laughs> There's another wolf. Which I'm going to stay away from. <laughs> because I don't feel like dying. I think a beetle is still chasing me. That'd be a great pet to have. Like a ranged pet like that. Honestly though, I want the duck bill. Just because of how freaking adorable it is. Okay, I think it stopped chasing me. Cows! Whee! <laughs> You're actually tougher than I thought you'd be. That's fine. We'll take you on. And they need pineapples. There's some witches over there. I'm pretty sure that witches are never good. I could be totally wrong. I, oh, no, they're, no they're, they are friendly. Look at them. Fighting them cows. I don't know why they're fighting them cows, but they are. Hi, witches. My favorite sport is hang gliding. I would love to have a collie pet. <laughs> Me too. Me too. Again, preaching to the choir. Yeah, so it's definitely getting late. Yeah, 1824. Yeah, so we're a little, almost 630. Getting late. I don't remember if there's a way to speed up nighttime, unfortunately. I think you can just hang out in town. If I end up doing that, don't worry, I will cut that out of the video. I'm not going to force people to sit through me literally waiting for nighttime to pass in town. That's ridiculous. 
Uh, oh, jeez. Right, falling will damage you and stun you. There is falling damage in this. And also, when you when you have the hang glider, um, if you hit like a wall, you know, like a cliff face or something, like you, it will stun you. <laughs> Immediately take you out of the hang glider, which is hilarious. And also potentially deadly depending on what heights you are uh, gliding at. I don't know if it's possible to recover from that, like if, as you're falling. I have no idea. But yeah, um, we're gonna try to get to level three and get back to town. Uh, before the end of this video and then probably unless there's a way like specifically to um to skip the night time which i don't think there is uh, i don't believe there is a way to skip night if there isn't we're probably just gonna idle in town overnight and i'll just go ahead and end the video and you know make a new video once um once morning has come something like that I'm also indecisive as to whether or not I should add uh, any music over this. It's kind of nice. Like, I like the music from the beta that I've heard. It's pretty. But there's something almost kind of natural about not having the music. Like, there's the crickets chirping in the background and, like, na sounds of nature. I don't know um, what the consensus is is on putting like another game's music over a game because technically YouTube has like protection like a lot of games are, are taken off that that list right so so that people can do like let's plays of of that game so they don't get copyright strikes but if it's not that game but it's just that game's soundtrack I don't know what the consensus owl what the con- Ow! Okay, yeah, we're not gonna fight you. I don't know what the consensus is on whether or not that's okay. I've seen people do it. I, I mean, like, big YouTubers. Like, like Quill18, like, he's played, like, Aurora 4X with, like, endless space music going over it and um, stuff like that. But, yeah. Even if you can do it and get away with it, that's not what I'm interested in. I want to know if it's okay. <laughs> if it is, I would love to do it, just to make this video a little more interesting, but some rocks can be destroyed with bombs. Yeah, they sure can. Alright, let's find the inn. Venturer District. Dun 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 That's it, I can just sing over all the videos. Dun 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 and then 50% of everyone watching just clicks off. <laughs> no, wait! Uh, before we before we go to the inn and uh, sort of um, go to bed for the night, where was the shop? I want to sell. Here we go. I want to sell a couple of the things that I can't equip with this character. Also, I wonder if there's going to be any way to transfer um, to transfer stuff. I don't know what that's used for. I wonder if there's going to be any way to transfer stuff. Like, for example, ranger and rogue items that I just got there, right? I wonder if if I was playing my warrior like I am now, and I was like, I want to make a ranger character, could I transfer that item over to them? I know you can't do it in the alpha. There's no way to do it in the alpha, unfortunately. Uh, well, you know, I say that. I bet you can actually start a server online, get a friend to come on, Yeah, and then transfer an item to them. That might actually work. I, I actually don't know. I'd be really curious to test that out. Unfortunately, don't really have much of a way to test that out. <laughs> don't really know anyone that plays Cube World, unfortunately. Um, yeah, super fun game. Highly recommend it. Anyone out there who's interested... Wait... I thought you were the potion seller. Oh, you are. Okay. Um. Oh, wait. If that was the message. Oh, maybe I accidentally... Oh, okay. I should go back to that, uh, like, identification place. I think I pressed the wrong button when I went there. Okay. We are going to... Can you hold down anything? No. You just right-click for every buy. Okay. We are going to buy... Oh, maximum. 50. Excellent. There we go. Iron shoulder armor. 
Battle tested iron boots. We already know that one. We'll get this one. Iron great helm. We'll get that one. That's power five. We can use that. We can learn those. And then we just need to find an anvil. I'm not actually sure where anvils are, but you know, I think we're going to do that next video. I think we're going to go to the inn, which was over here, was it not? There's the weapon shop. Uh, where was the inn? Hello? I wish to stay the night. Stay a while and listen. I'm old. And I smell funny. I'm Deckard Kane. Alright, um, where is the inn? I confuzz. I much confuzz. Okay, there's a spinning wheel. Um. Okay. There's a loom. Oh, I am confuzz. It's like for rangers and such. And then this is a saw. Okay. We can make wood cubes. Occasionally like crit and get two or three instead. That's cool. Whoops. I have no idea what wood cubes are used for. What was that? Did we just, did we drop it? Oh, it's tiny. Look at that. Weird. I remember what those are used for now. You can decorate your weapons. I remember. That's right. Decorate your weapons and armor and stuff. Mm-hmm. Here it is. So you can like, um... Yeah, here we go. Look at this. You can use these and you can put them on there. I remember now. That's a really cool feature. Okay. We remember. We at least remember. We can also make stuff now that we're here. We need cubes to do it. We need iron cubes. You need ore to do that. You need to go into caves and use bombs to blow it up and get ore out of it. I remember all of that now. Hooray for remember. Hur Hooray for remember. <laughs> <laughs> my brain okay we're kind of going over here on what I want to do but we're gonna we'll go out the window here I really want to find the inn where's the inn why am I getting so distracted it's because I'm excited because I'm playing this game again what is this huge tower okay now we're really getting distracted so this is what I'm gonna do I'm actually instead of finding the inn no, we really do need to find the end. Okay, we're gonna find the end. Let's find the end. There it is, right over there. Okay. We're gonna head north to see all that cool stuff tomorrow. When the sun is up. We can rest in our inn between six o'clock in the evening and six o'clock in the morning. What does that mean? Oh my gosh, that makes time go faster. Look at that. That actually makes time go faster. And it also... It also skips the night! Oh, how cool is that? That's how that works. You have to talk to somebody. Okay, well everyone, thank you very much for watching. I've been Melodic Oak. I technically still am Melodic Oak as well. And this has been Cube World, and technically still is Cube World, and there is a man in the background. I hope you've enjoyed it. I certainly have, and I'm certainly looking forward to playing it some more. Bumbling along and inevitably dying some more. Going back to that keep, now that we're now that we're gonna have a ton of potions and uh, powering up on the way so that we can uh, power our way through there and seeing what riches lie within. Getting a platinum coin, perhaps, and seeing what that does again, and uh, maybe decorating our weapon. I don't know. We're going to have some fun with it. But, you know, until then, I will talk to you guys next time. And, uh, you know, have a great day. Just, just have a great day. See ya.